In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create your own cold plunge, your own ice bath for under $1,000. All right, you can do it for even less by just putting ice in your bathtub, but this is one that you can use consistently on a daily basis and not have to worry about buying new ice all the time. Awesome. Thank you. You too. It's a freezer. The chest freezer has officially arrived. Welcome to the very first ice bath. Did you see what arrived? No. Come, look. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> It's very nice. No, full size chest freezer. Maybe uh, filled with ice cream. Yeah. Very good. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Is that my uh, retirement gift? Exactly. <laughs> Except it's gonna be so filled. So I can with... have ice cream every day. Yeah. Three times a day. It's gonna be filled with water, actually. Mm -hmm. Just water? Yep. So you can sit in it. Oh. <laughs> They do that, like this basketball players. Yeah, and you can do it too. No, I know. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we've done so far is it's brand new. We just vacuumed it. I used like this little snaky vacuum thingy and cleaned it up. So did a little sandpaper on the places where I wanted to put the epoxy. And uh, it's, yeah, it's a Frigidaire 14.8 cubic foot. Well, this is definitely just random styrofoam pieces. Okay, I cleared out Home Depot. Bought every single JB Waterworld they had. This is supposedly the best kind. I also got this kind of silicone, silicone, just to kind of put around the top edges because this is this stuff is expensive. It adds up, so I didn't want to buy too much. So, and I don't think the water is going to be coming up here, but still want to weld it. But as long as I get the seams kind of up along the edges here and around this little piece here. Okay, so what are the things I bought exactly? I will link them all down below. I'll use Amazon links and their affiliate links so it supports the channel. But I recommend you check out Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy because you might be able to find these cheaper than Amazon. The first thing was a chest freezer. I got the 14.8 cubic feet Frigidaire. JB Waterwell to seal the insides. You can get away with not sealing it, but your chest freezer will not last as long. An outdoor pro programmable outlet for my ozone generator, which I got through John Richter. A triple outlet GFCI outlet, so it protects it like if there's any water or thing that gets in, it'll turn off that outlet. Cool hand lift skin thinner, so you can clean out any leaves or dirt that you can visibly see in the, in the ice plunge, cold plunge. A mat for the wet area, so inside of the chest freezer, I had a mat so you don't slip because it's flat. It can get slippery, algae build and all that, so you want a mat on the inside. And then a mat for the outside, so when you step out, right, you're gonna be dripping a whole bunch of water. You don't want it to spill everywhere, so you want a mat on the outside too. A floating thermometer, you don't really need this, but I got it, it just helps to see what the temperature is. I can pull the thing out, it looks cool. I liked it. And then a thermometer gun, you also don't need this either, but another way to check the temperature using a thermometer gun. And then the third and final way to check the temperature is the Inkbird Wi-Fi temperature control. This will turn the chest freezer on and off and make sure that it stays within a temperature range, which I set to around 48 to 52 degrees. Then it's a matter of keeping your thing actually clean because you can put water in there, but then it'll get dirty and then you have to pour all the water out and re-clean it. So I got the ozone generator was one. The second was a water filter to create circulation, marine land. I got an extra filter as well so I can swap it out and then clean one filter while another one is working. And that was really it. The ozone generator and the, and the water filter, I think that's good enough to get circulation as well as the ozone will kill any bacteria. And then just every like, I don't know, two to three months, I was able to get away with cleaning the water out whenever it got dirty. As long as I showered before I used the cold plunge, then it was easy. 
How did we put it all together? My dad and I, we worked together. It was intense. The JB water bottle stuff is not easy. So I highly recommend you prepare yourself for some really good intense labor and some frustrating. It is like the most frustrating Play-Doh you've ever played with. Super frustrating. Up in here, we're just missing a little spot right there. Other than that, everything looks good. You think that will seal it enough? Yeah. All right, so the chest freezer is complete here. We've got silicone on this part and around the top. All right, we got the ice chest, the filter, the inkbird thermometer, and the Marine Land Magnum polishing filter <laughs> and a replacement filter. All right, so the chest freezer is complete here. We've got silicone on this part and around the top. It's not great, but on the rest, we've got JB Waterworld, as you can see. And I put the mat down and JB Waterworld there. I don't think I mixed it as well as I should have, but. We're going to see how it performs. And I've got this wire here as well as the ink bird of the thermometer my pump and we're gonna s and it's all plugged in right here we're gonna fill it up okay so we just put the sucker in here and turn on the water moment of truth is it leaking from anywhere. All right, so far so good. No leaks, which is a good sign. The hose is filling up. We've got a GoPro in there to record this transition. And it's looking good so far. So we got the pump in there now. It's going, we got the thermometer almost dipping in and the hose is filling up. It's going pouring up as you can tell. Looking good. GoPro, we got the mold so far. Luckily, no leaks. Looking solid. And it is about 73 degrees in the water right now, so we need to get some ice. Fill this sucker up with ice to get it to cool down. All right, this is the jet engineering ozone generator. We got the tubing. It's a little piece operations. And the actual device. Wow, this thing is surprisingly big. Wow. There it is. California made. That's all you get. Alright. Test freezer. Turned off the ozone. Let it air out for a bit. Let's actually unplug everything. Oh, it's gassy. Something's in there for sure. Ice, ice. Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> no reaction? First time in the ice bath. Well, let's see what this is like. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So you have to dizzy, you have to calm out, you know that. Oh, she got me. Really? Oh, 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 oh. All right, first time using the ice bath. Maybe not a lot of water, but I think it's a good thing. It is freezing cold. My arms side to side. Side to side. Mahan, Mahan, hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Can you see him? Oh, Mahan. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Over there, the camera. Hi, hi, hi. Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> 
Sherbinia. Is it called ice bath? Can you say ice bath? So it's about 50 degrees. Should we get some ice and put it in there? <laughs> but Sherbinia's like, I need a $5,000 freezer. This is $5,000? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was about three minutes. Thirty meter. Oh, 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 so this is what it looks like. We got the ozone generator. We unplugged everything, and it was about 50 degrees on the ink bird. What a great time! You're next, right, Sahil? Huh? You're next. Probably. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. What resources should you leverage when it comes to creating your own ice bath cold plunge? You're a pioneer. You're stepping into a space where not a lot of people are doing it. You can buy $10,000 cold plunges, but they're $10,000. If you have the money, go for it. Maintenance is a lot less. But I highly recommend that you go for something that is more expensive. But if you're trying to save money like me, then you got to go this route where you can to do it yourself. So John Richter, I hope I said it right, John Richter. Check him out, he has a really cool website. I think it's The Cold Plunge. I'll link it also below. He has an ebook, he has a Facebook group, he has a YouTube channel. I'll link all that stuff below. He was like the main guy. He's like the king of cold plunges. So I followed his content. I kind of did a lot of research. He's always working with people and updating his stuff. So I'd highly recommend you check out the most recent versions and interact with the community because the community is testing different things. Like people are using Pond Liner. I didn't want to go that route. You can go that route as well. Carnivore Kurt did a one hour call with John and I thought that was extremely valuable. So that's another video you can watch, but as things get outdated, right, new technologies come out, you want to update and check the Facebook group in the community because that's where you see the most up-to-date content. And I'll link that stuff below. You can be like, hey, Shervin Shares sent me here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fulfill my own ego, I guess. The planet is ego. What mistakes should you avoid? So one of the biggest things is when you're buying the chest freezer, I wanted the smaller one, even though I'm like six foot, I would kind of barely fit with my knees bent. I wanted just a smaller one because I was like, oh, I'll get used to it. Maybe after two years, I'll upgrade. But the smaller like 10 cubic feet ones were silver lining and you want to get the white lining. You want to get the white lining because it'll just deteriorate and like rust a lot harder so i highly recommend going that route and that's just something john also mentions as, as well be committed you want to be committed to this process it is not easy it takes a lot of work right you're building something yourself and things can go wrong and you'll have to just figure it out on the fly so be ready to be committed to this entire process it's going to take longer than you expected it's going to cost more than you expected third one double check the resources down below right things are changing and updating i just stay up to date the stuff in here is useful now in a year two years maybe even six months it could be out of date fourth one if you got the money just spend the money get the ten thousand dollar ice plunge cold plunge because maintenance is a lot less you're just gonna have a better experience if you have the money right if you're bougie go for it bougie thing and the biggest thing is like your family and friends are gonna think you're a psycho so be ready for that no one's gonna accept that what you're doing is smart except for the people in the cold plunge facebook community no one's gonna understand why you're doing it so not only are you putting in hard work but people are gonna shame you a little bit potentially depending on how your friends and family are. But just be ready to just be like, look like you're crazy. And I'm sorry, but look at the views right here. I am at a WeWork right now and it is insane.